Okay, and now our Inspection Services Division Head, Shariar Amiri. Thank you, Steve, and good morning, everybody. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Shariar Amiri. I'm the Chief Building Official and Inspection Services Director. I um, want to give you a little brief description of uh, what I do for a living and what my division does for a living, and hopefully then some exciting news about where we are headed. Um, uh, my division com comprises of four functional areas, uh, permit administration, plan review, administration, inspection, and code enforcement. Um, as the name suggests, the permit administ administration of frontline people, customer care areas, where people come in and uh, drop off the application for various types of permits. Uh, plan review staff comprises of engineers and architects and professionals that review those plans uh, before the issuance of permit. And of course, we have inspectors that inspect the project during construction. And last, not least, we have our code enforcement unit that is responsible for enforcement of the state property maintenance code. Uh, it also regulates our snow ordinance, our noise ordinance, and whatever else ordinance nobody else wants to enforce. Uh, we get the call. And um, so that's, that's in, a, in a nutshell, uh, what the division is comprised of. Uh, not to get into the much details, but um, the staff in inspection services, um, they are mandated to regulate buildings, the structures, the mechanical system in the building, the electrical system in the building, the plumbing, the fire, accessibility, energy, elevators, cross connections. There's gonna be a quiz at the end of this uh, to see if you know what cross connection means. Uh, and of course, property maintenance, snow and noise. I want to talk about uh, what we heard from you. And actually, this second slide, um, if, you, if you will, is kind of a little bit of a joke. I started writing what we have heard, and I needed a piece of paper that runs from here to Tyson's Corner. Um, but I decided to put just a, just a really uh, short list together, but I will expand on the list. We heard that um, you wanted to have a one-stop fee payment. Uh, we, wanna, we heard that you wanted an easier and more predictable process. Uh, we heard that you want to use technology more often. You know, oftentimes, many of the land use attorneys come to our office looking at some site plans, and then uh, 45 minutes later, we bring a bunch of plans and piece of papers to you so you can review to find out information about the paper. Uh, we heard that you wanted um, increased communication between us and you. Worst thing that happens in your business is you built a building today and you come back, built a building uh, next year and the rules have changed and you didn't know what happened in between. So on those fronts, um, we have been working really diligently and hard and this is not just about zoning and ISD. We heard that you want a predictable, uh, predictable service in a regulatory side. We also heard that you don't want to know what IST business is about, what zoning is about, what DES is about, what DHS is about, and you shouldn't have to. Uh, we heard that loud and clear. We have been working diligently for the past four to six months, uh, not only zoning and IST, but development services in DES, environmental health in DHS, to streamline our process. Our motto is, we are not about departments. You don't have to know departments. We're gonna be a faceless Arlington County. We're gonna, we're gonna take this regulatory approach to an enterprise approach. Whereas, you don't have to know what happens behind the scenes. We'll just tell you what we need from you up front. Then the rest is ours to do. You don't have to worry about uh, coming to the 10th floor and how ridiculous it is that we send you back and forth from left side to right side four or five times before you get a permit on the same floor. Then we send it to the 8th floor. Then we send you to the, we used to send you to the 2nd floor to pay for it and then come back to the 10th floor again. So the, the, the idea is you don't have to do that. We'll do that for you. 
All you have to worry about is give us a bucket. And that bucket is all the information we need for you to get your approval. The second part of this uh, effort is that we should be able to be predictable, right? We should be able to review the plans at the same time. Now, that's a big challenge. We don't know how we're going to do it yet, but we are going to get it done. And the idea, it doesn't, ha it doesn't help if zoning takes a plan, takes five days, DES takes uh, 10 days, and you come to ISD, I take 45 days. It just doesn't make business sense. So what we are trying to accomplish is uh, when, when we get there, and we are working diligently at it, that you can be assured, for example, I'm not making promises on these numbers, because there is a lot going to happen between now and then, but we will communicate the numbers, that if you're submitting for a brand new commercial building, that you will get all your review comments in 15 business days from everybody. So that's the idea. The idea is we really, one of the things we talked about as we were talking about solutions to all the things, at least I've heard in the nine years I've been here, I can't believe it's been nine years already, but uh, you want a predictable um, process. You want a one-stop process. You don't want to have to call four different places to get your answer. You want to go to one place, and we want that for you. In fact, we don't want you to come see us at all. Not that we don't like you, uh, but one of, the, one of the mission of this new goal is really set the standard of excellence in public service. And how are we going to do that? We're going to do that by bringing government back to you. You don't have to come here to do business. You can stay in your office. You can stay in your living room or wherever you wish to. You can apply for a permit. You can pay the fee. You can upload your plans. You can get your comments in, in a predictable across the regulatory part. You can print your own permit in your office. You don't have to come here. What does that mean for us? A lot of work across four major agencies that we do this. Uh, my permit technicians, if you will, no longer are permit technicians. There is nothing to issue. They're going to be co your customer care representative. They're going to be your casework managers. You go on the plans, you go on the website, you get the stock. Guess what? We are going to, we are going to compete with Amazon. I'm, I'm promising this. Somebody is going to come online and say, how can I help you? Um, so that's the, that's what we are doing. It's, a, it's not only a transformation from a paper base to digital, but it's transformation about, um, about how we view and how we view uh, the business, how we view. It is no longer about ISD, zoning, DHS or DES. It's about those con constituencies that we were hired to serve. Some of them are represented here by this group. So let's talk about the timeline on some of these initiatives. Um, you already know that you can pay by credit card on the 10th floor. You know, you, you know, 500 years ago, you could pay it you know, at Kmart, but we proud ourselves that you can pay by credit card on the 10th floor. But nonetheless, we didn't do, do that before. Um, Customer wait time. We have a customer wait time. When you come to our lobby, you can sign in. You can see what your wait time is. Now you can see your wait time remotely. And I can assure you, if you want to come in at 11 o'clock, you will see what your wait time is versus. So you can time, time your, you know, your timing of the day accordingly. You can see exactly what's going on live all the time. Uh, you can um, start viewing all our records, digital records, uh, starting sometimes in October. Uh, we are just short of a couple technology issues. We, we have uh, scanned all our paper base, both in ISD and zoning. Um, and part of why we did this, not only that we wanted to be helpful to you, part of it was a business decision on our end as well. Uh, we spent a 
roughly in the neighborhood of one to $1.5 million a year scanning paper. We prefer to take that money and invest it back into the community, back into the services we provide our constituency, which is you. Um, we have started the effort to do electronic plan review. You can pay online, but you can submit online. You can upload your plans. Uh, right now, we are in mode of training, and that's going to happen across the uh, multiple departments for whatever you, uh, you do. Uh, we are starting beta testing in October. By that is we have gone to selected uh, builders, developers, and say, hey, do you want to join this effort? Do you have any plans you're submitting for permit? We'd like to test, uh, see how we do, and learn from those lessons. Actually, we are lacking volunteers from commercial development. So please feel free to uh, give me your card, say you're ready to do the beta testing. We are starting it next, next month, literally. We are going to go live in February. So come February 1, we are going to be 100% paperless. Uh, if you have the paper, please run it, scan it, PDF it, we upload it, and that's what it is. Um, our new uh, part of what we have also done about our permitting system uh, in preparation for a new permitting system, which allows you to do the work from home, we have gone through all every single business process and we have talked about business process reengineering. Basically, we have taken this maze of visuals that gave me a headache. Every time I had to look at it, I had to take additional Prozac uh, and simplify it. And simplification, uh, that's why I said, you don't have to know anything anymore. You don't need to know what the process is. We'll give you a list of buckets, say, hey, you need to submit this. We're going to do everything for you behind the scene. So you have an input and the output, output being your permit. So that's, that's really, we're going to try to make it really as simple as that. You put an input, there is an output in there. And the rest of the work happens behind the scenes. Um, that's, that's what part of the business process reengineering was. Um, part of this new uh, form of, form of it's an enterprise-wide uh, initiative. There's a lot of things we do, even in CPHT. There are a lot of things we do. Uh, it is because, I don't know, we don't trust each other or whatever, you know? Uh, if I go change the color of the building or whatever, change the color of the door, well, maybe zoning needs to see it because it's a site plan condition that says it needs to be hot pink or purple. But I don't need to see it, but it come back to me too. So there is a lot of these, and I make it simplify it, but there is a lot of these steps that we are realizing we are doing it just because we've been doing it. And maybe there is a valid reason 20 years ago we were doing it that way. That reason no longer exists today. So we are actually looking at everything we do, why we do it, what's the rationale behind it, behind it and do we have the legislative authority to do what we do? Because we are talking about regulatory side. New permitting system, um, you can, you can uh, hope for it in uh, fall of 2017, which basically means that even if you come to the office to apply for a permit, I'm going to uh, guide you to a self-service computer, and I'm going to tell you, let me show you how you can apply for a permit. So it's not going to be desk in there with permit uh, administration professional doing that. So you can do literally everything uh, from wherever, as long as you have a computer. Um, we are going to um, you're going to be able to pay all the fees online. And I think one effort, and I don't promise you where we're going to do it, but one effort that um, I think necessary for us to do uh, is probably perhaps simplify some of our permit fees. But secondly, more importantly to that, um, the new permitting si uh, system will have a permit fee estimators. So before you do it, at least you get an idea how much it's going to uh, cost 
to come do, do the business in the county. Um, you're going to get a tremendous amount of online notification every stage of the process, whether it's application submitted, whether it's a disapproval, whether whatever it is, you're going to get an electronic notification on the status. That also goes through the uh, during the inspection phase. Um, so as much as I enjoy seeing familiar faces, I figured that past fall 2017, there is no need for you to come to the office. Um, we can Skype and do wonderful things, but physically you don't have to come here to get your business done. Um, obviously, we want to make sure that this is really predictable. And we, we have realized this as, as a county manager mentioned about uh, economic development. This economic vitality of this business, I found myself in competition many occasions with District Columbia and now with Tyson's too. People want to move. You know, faster, friendlier, more predictable is what sometimes the, the a corporation need. You know, and, and that's what will give us the advanced edge over our competition in surrounding uh, jurisdiction, if we can do this. Um, obviously, increased communication uh, electronically and by many means, and definitely a streamlined and common sense business process. I can't tell you enough. Um, it is all talk right now, but all the work that has gone behind this with various departments, DES, ISD, zoning, environmental health, um, it's amazing that everybody is on, you know, on the target. They, they all bought into this concept that we need to make it streamlined, we need to make it easier, and we need to be very purposeful, very upfront, to give you the information you need in order for you to submit to us what we need. So we have a lot of work to do. Uh, we are going to have a new website uh, next year. Cynthia, uh, next, uh, that is going to put out a lot of information. So I'm hoping that the website is not going to tell you what your process needs to be. I'm hoping that we get to a point that our website says, you need this, submit this, done. And you get your answer in 10 days or 15 days or whatever days it is. And then if you have to resubmit, you resubmit, you get your answer again in 10, 15 days. So that's what I have uh, for you. It's been a lot of work across uh, Arlington County to get us to this point, and I can't thank enough um, my partners in crime, uh, the zoning division, the DES uh, Development Services Bureau, and the DHS um, Environmental Health. Without their help, uh, we, I couldn't do this presentation. They are, they are the folks that did the job in order for us to get to this point. Thank you very much.